Good day, viewers. Walter here, tinkering around the shop a little bit. Kind of under the weather a little bit today. I've been having some trouble with my balance, my equilibrium. I think I probably got an ear infection. I thought for a minute it might be a side effect of one of my medications, but having recently got over that head cold I had, I got a hunch of ear infection. If it don't clear up in a day or two, I'll go to the doctor. Uh, went to town today and got a haircut. We had to take the wife's car to the Ford dealership and get the transmission service and spark plugs and a few other things. But we wound up spending uh, between four and five hundred dollars on the car this morning. I had a good time yesterday, virtually destroying a computer. Well, not destroying, totally disassembling it. And I do have the intention of using this power pack. This is the reason I took it off. But it ain't like no dire emergency project. It's a project I need to learn more about. So I'm going to store that project right here in this basket, put it on the workbench here somewhere, and continue my thought process on doing that. I got a paperwork here I looked at, wrote some information down on one of the fellow YouTubers videos, learning a little bit about it. I did learn uh, some Russian guy doing making a power supply out of one of these things, pointed out that some of these power supplies needed to, to put a load on them Uh, to make it come on and work right. So we're going to save that hard drive just in case we have to do that. Um, well, I'm, I'm going to save all these parts I took out and put them in a box here in the shop somewhere to tinker with. This, I presume, is what you would call the motherboard. Still got memory chips sticking in it over here. I don't know a lot about computers, but I'm quite sure these are memory chips right here. Never know, I, mean, I might need a diode or capacitor or something one day, and I can strip it off there. It's just something to play with. So that'll go in the box. This stuff will all go in the box, and that other junk over there will wind up back in the trash bin. So basically, I'm just clearing off the workbench today. Let's see, I need this power cord. So I got other projects I could be working on. Mostly, I'm just goofing around today, not doing a whole lot of anything, except cleaning up the workbench. All right, what I will do today is do a, just a little bit on what's in the box. We're gonna start right here today, do a little something on what's in the box. What I have here is hazmat placards from the railroad. These are not ordinary hazmat placards, most of them aren't anyway. Some years ago, they tore a train depot down in Griffin, Georgia, and these were relegated to the trash and I retrieved them. Now, what we got is just a, well, if you can read for yourself, explosive handled with care. I think it's from sometime around the war, I don't know, World War I or World War II from the Central Georgia Railway Company, M.P. Callaway Trustee. I guess during the war when they were shipping ammunition and explosives and things like that around. That was a handy something to put on the car. Now these are very fragile and tore up. Um, some of them are mouse bitten and chewed from being in a depot. I picked out a nice one some years ago when I was selling things on eBay. I had a guy in, I forget where now, but he made me some frames designed to fit this. So I took a good one mounted it in a frame 
and sold it on eBay for somebody to use in their train room. And it, it drew a fairly good price. I later saw the same framed-in picture for sale on a, a collectibles website, and they got three times what I charged them for it on eBay. It went for a, a pretty good price. I had some other ones here somewhere. Now these are normally put on the side of a car. I think my better is with this camera keeps shutting off. And I think I'll just store these for now to sometime. Maybe I'll relegate them out to friends or sell them or something. But these are pretty doggone old. I say they're getting close to, oh, they could be as, as old as 100 years old. Acid affected them over the years and they're real fragile and break. But it's just something from the Central Georgia Railroad that I thought was too good to throw away. So I'm gonna file them here somewhere in one of these I might even mount one on the wall somewhere. But I'm gonna put those away. I had some heavy stuff on top of them and it's breaking them up. That's all I got to show you on what was in the box today. Keep lights and fires away, dangerous, handle carefully. This car must not be next to a car containing explosives. Avoid contact with acid, corrosive liquid, beware of fumes or vapors. Southern Railway System. That makes it valuable right there. Southern Railway System. You won't see any more of those. Nowadays with the hazmat placard, they would have numbers and stuff on them. The form number 861. Even the form number, form number 211 on these explosives placard. Anyway, thanks for tuning in today. This is Pete Walpole saying, y'all have a good day.